that's all I've got in the Braves and that uh, the Atlanta United comes back this weekend. So I'm going to watch that on Sunday because the whole family, like the Atlanta United is like the one sport like in Atlanta where my entire family is on board. My dad played college soccer. My mom loves soccer. Uh, my brother's all in on it. So it's actually the one thing that we as a like a Thomas family like we'll text about like no other sport. They don't all watch the Hawks. They don't all watch the Braves. They don't all watch the Falcons. They definitely don't all watch Tennessee. But that is. That's it. So I'm excited about that to have that back in my life. And the green mint, the mint green uniforms, top notch. Like Fresh. I was worried about that. They're great. Like they they nailed that. So I'm a. I don't know. I'm excited to have Atlanta United back. Are you are you planning on going to a lot of games? Are you excited? What what's the feeling like? In uh, I'm excited. Islands? Yeah, I'm excited. I think um I think Atlanta United is the kind of thing that I it, it's the most in person like experience of all of the of all sports mm-hmm. really like. It's such a cultural, like Atlanta, like uniquely Atlanta experience that like I'm way more of a like I would love to go to as many games as possible than I am like I need to catch it every time they're on. And yeah. so it's like I haven't I haven't done a ton of like what's this year going to be like? Like I know that <laughs> they brought in some new guys like I, I will learn all of that sort of in time. Um, but to me, it's like it's just like the single example of like this in-person experience is so much more important to me than, you know, TV. Uh, yeah. I tell people, I'm like, if you go to Atlanta and they're like, Oh, what should I see? I'm like, Atlanta United is first thing. like, like yep. that. If you have to pick one, like Atlanta United is what and they're like soccer. And I'm like, yes, absolutely. It's no question. Like I have no hesitation on that one. Like it's nope. Atlanta United or don't bother. Like that should be your first Atlanta sports experience. Um, and if you only get one, that's it. Like that's what I would wait on. Um, but also I think too, if Atlanta United does not start at Bobby Dodd and did not start the way it did, I don't think this all exists. That's something I was thinking about. And I'll tell people, I'm like, it was like this weird indie, indie band, the way it came out where like, people were like, they're playing where? And then it was like this small group of fans, like diehard fans that were packing out Bobby Dodd for this. And you're like, this is kind of wild, like seeing MLS in a college stadium. And then it progressed. Like, I think because it started small and because it had this small group of people that were so passionate and then other people saw like how passionate they were about this small atmosphere just being ridiculous that it just expanded organically. But if they had started at the bins, I don't think it would have been as uh electric as what it's become i agree and and i also think it's maybe a little underrated that like how important it was they were good right away mm-hmm. like i i completely and you know i think a lot of like the mls has sort of been like seeking out like why did this work why you know like what happened here since they started it and i think atlanta did a lot right you know a lot a lot was done right but maybe the thing that was done most right is they were really good right away and had like mm-hmm. stars, like dudes you wanted to go see play. And so I, I completely agree about, about um, Bobby Dodd and like those, I went to a few games with Bobby Dodd and it was like such a unique sports experience. Mm-hmm. It was so unlike any other game I'd attended. And I like, you know, it's one of those things where the first time you go, you're like, I need to go back. Mm-hmm. And so it was every opportunity it could. And that was sort of a, cascading effect and i agree with you it was like the benz the benz is crazy nice and like you know the first game of the benz was awesome and like going to going to see games of the benz is is incredible but it's 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 just different like it's Mm -hmm. not i don't know it's not like the same sort of like communal i think um just like what is going on here experience that that everyone had at bobby dodd absolutely absolutely all right man well that's all i've got for the atlanta sports guys garrett we miss you hope you enjoy listening to uh max and i talk while you're traveling and everything that you get to you you get to hear your name shouted out at, while not being on the podcast that's always cool we don't even know where you are you're somewhere around the united states at the moment hope uh, everything's going well uh but max and i held it down i think pretty well and uh, we can find max on twitter max underscore markovich uh follow myself at chase underscore thomas but uh yeah land sports guys every week at this time on this feed and uh you can watch us on youtube so go do that uh chase thomas podcast youtube both of us on there there you go max markovich <laughs> have yourself a great weekend love is blind season two let's oh, go that's I, atop the agenda dude i i don't care i have no shame that show is fantastic and i wish they no, did it no no i'll give shame no all the time It's so great. Love is Blind, season two. Netflix. Do it, folks. See you, Max.